here's our beginning lesson for the week. So this is the beginning violin portion. These are the fingerings of the notes you've learned to play so far. So we have the low D to high D. We'll call this D4 because that's the fourth D on the piano. D5 is a high D, fifth D on the piano. Open D, E first tape, F sharp second tape, G third tape, A open, B first tape, C sharp second tape, D third tape. So it's a pattern. Zero, one, two, three in the D string. Next string, A string, zero, one, two, three. So this week, your beginning exercises are to play through 33 through 36. And those are the notes you're going to need. So have those ready, get your instrument ready, and you'll be playing along with the video here. So here we go, instruments ready. Beginning guitar lesson of the week, alternate strumming. In this lesson, we're going to talk about one of the most used techniques in rhythm guitar, alternate strumming. Alternate strumming just means that you're going to strum down, up, down, up, instead of just down all the time. So down all the time, which I'm sure you're familiar with, is just that. I want you to do down, up. So you've got this D chord. strumming. Beginning guitar, chord challenge. Strum four times on each chord, starting with the G, for two minutes. Ready, G, D, A,
D A E G D A Of the week. In this exercise, we'll practice half note and quarter note rhythms with a three chord progression in 4-4 four, four time, all while accenting beat one. Here's how our exercise sounds. Let's start with the fret hand. We've got three chords. We're going to start with D. That's going to be our first, second, and third finger here stacked on the second fret of strings four, three, and two, and then the open first string. D7, keep all the fingers where they are. We're going to lift off on the second finger. So our frets, we have two, open, two, open. And now G7. We're going to have strings open, two, one, two. Now let's check out the progression. We're going to start with just whole notes for right now. Four bars. We start with a bar of D. Then we move to D7. Now we have two bars of G7. So now we can walk through the rhythms here. We're going to mix up our strumming for each measure. The main thing to keep in mind here is that we really want to feel beat one. So to do this, we're going to accent it by strumming a bit louder on beat one than when we're strumming on beats two, three, and four here. We're using down strums throughout with either your thumb or your index finger. I'm going to use my thumb. So bar one, we have a half note followed by two quarter notes. Remember, the one of each bar, we're going to strum heavier to accent that. So we're going to start here, half note to two quarter notes. We're going to count that. One, two, three, four. Then in bar two, we're on our D7 chord. We're going to flip what we just did. Now we have two quarter notes and one half note. So we're going to play one, two, three, four. Now bars three and four are going to follow the same rhythm as bars one and two. We're on G7 for both bars. So in bar three, we're going to have a half note and two quarter notes. One, two, three, four. Again, accenting on the downbeat of one. Now in bar four, still on G7, two quarter notes and a half note. One, two, three, four. So let's get set with your D chord. I'll count you in. Make sure to get those good accented strums. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Repeat. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, 